With the new Life Technology developed Cast PCR technology, somatic mutations now have nowhere to hide. Pac-Man mutation detection assays use this Cast PCR technology, which refers to competitive allele-specific Pac-Man PCR, specifically designed to detect somatic mutations that occur in cancer cells. Let's see how it works. Let's take an example of a tumour sample in which only 0.1% of the DNA contains a somatic mutation and the other 99.9% is normal wild-type DNA. A mutant allele assay based on CAST-PCR technology contains four components. The allele-specific or AS primer is designed to be specific for a mutant allele in a target gene. A locus-specific primer is designed to be specific to the target gene. This will bind to mutant and wild-type allele containing DNA. A locus-specific TACMAN probe is designed to bind to the target gene between the primers. This will also bind to both mutant and wild-type allele containing DNA. This probe will generate a fluorescent signal during the PCR reaction to monitor the target amplification. An allele-specific MGB blocker oligonucleotide is designed to bind specifically to the wild-type allele. The role of this blocker is to compete with the mutant allele-specific primer and inhibit its binding to the wild-type allele. This blocker suppresses non-specific amplification of the wild-type allele and improves the specificity of the reaction. Only the mutant allele is amplified and generates a fluorescent signal. By increasing the specificity and inhibiting the amplification of the wild-type allele, this competitive allele-specific TACMAN PCR provides a very sensitive and specific method to detect as low as one mutant allele in a presence of a thousand wild-type alleles. Find the TACMAN mutation detection assays you need at lifetechnologies.com forward stroke cast PCR.